What's the last couple of days been like for Denard? Probably iced it probably three or four times yesterday. Um, done some uh, ultrasound and anti-inflammatory. So, uh, you know, those are really only three things that you really can do to get swelling out. And uh, so strap it up and go out there and test it out. That's the I'm going to know if it's okay. Yeah, I don't know if he's uh, 100%. Um, but he had a good couple of days off, some good treatment. And he feels good enough to get out back out there today. He's got some some history against Burley and uh, has seen him quite a bit so it's nice to have him back in there so we'll watch him the rest of the weekend risk the homestand and if we have to give him some rest we can do that but today's good which is a good sign yeah you want to be smart um you know it, it's a thin line between being hurt and being injured um so yeah you know i always try to especially at this age and you know just this part of my career i've had some injuries and um you know i know when i can get out there and give my team you know my best so um just got to be smart and and like you said evaluate the the whole picture and the big picture i mean if he bangs it again it's going to be sore so it's one of those things where you know if you're if he's playing and he has to dive or he has to run into a wall or something like that, it could affect him. But he's good to go today, and, and we'll see how he is. What do you have to – what's the conversation like that you have to hear to know he's good enough to go? Is it simple but for a trusted guy like that? that yeah, I, I trust him. About, I trust him with what he's telling me. Um, and, and if he says he's good, then – He's good. Uh, so, you know, we still have batting practice to go through, and and uh, we can make an adjustment if we have to. But he's ready to go out there and, and go through the full gamut of BP and do all the things he needs to do to get prepared. So uh, all if all's well, then he's in there.